Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Airport. The local time here is just just after 20 minutes past 10 in the morning. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt signs have been switched off. When it is safe to leave your seats, take care when opening the overhead lockers, as items may have moved and could fall out and cause injury. Before leaving the aircraft, please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you and remember that smoking is not allowed until you have reached a designated area. You may now make and receive calls as well as use all data services on your handheld electronic devices. Buenos dias, my darlings, and welcome to Ibiza. Yes, we made it here, oh my goodness. And let's just say, I have been emotional. We have been here not quite 24 hours. It's our full, it's day one today, if yesterday was day zero, arrival day. And I've already cried twice. <laughs> Tears of happiness, but yeah, there were just so many points where I thought this trip wasn't going to happen and I'm just so so glad that we got here. It feels <clears throat> feels quite overwhelming and I'm feeling very very grateful that we were able to get away on this trip. So we're here, we had the loveliest day yesterday. We got a super early flight and then made our way here to the hotel and we are staying at at Zaro, which is I talk about it all the time it is one of those places that I just uh, I think this is my third time coming here now but my first time actually staying here as an overnight guest we've only ever been here as day guests before but it's one of those places that I mean you'll see in this vlog it is so spectacularly beautiful it's one of those places that is just so spectacularly beautiful and there is just nowhere else that I would have wanted to have stayed here on our trip so I'll show you around I'm currently sat in the orange tree restaurant we're gonna be having dinner here tonight yesterday afternoon we just relaxed by the pool we had a lovely lunch here and there was a wedding on yesterday evening and the band oh my gosh the music that they were playing it was all live was just incredible in fact i think i took a few shots yesterday so i'll pop those in here for today is we just had a really lovely breakfast we are here with our friends Lydia and Ali so we've all just had some breakfast and it's a tiny bit overcast today but actually we knew it was we were like keeping an eye on the weather forecast and we knew it would be so today we are heading into Ibiza town this morning we're gonna grab some coffees do a little bit of mooching around the shops there is a um, obviously the iconic Paula's ex Loewe shop is in Ibiza old town so we're gonna check that out um, do a bit of exploring and then we're going to head to a beach club for lunch and afternoon chilling but first let me just show you this area that I'm sat in now because <sighs> everywhere here is just breathtakingly beautiful so this is the orange tree restaurants so I think I took some shots here last night and you can see it in the golden hour they've got little straw basket bags hanging from the ceiling and what I love about this hotel is there's just little very photogenic kind of resting spots here there and everywhere like here for example there's so much bougainvillea beautiful flowers they collect antique furniture as well terracotta plant pots so i mean it is just so up our street <laughs> i love this like brown cast iron furniture it is absolutely beautiful i mean look at this gorgeous little setup it's incredible i think this is a banana tree another little private kind of seating area over here i actually don't think i've ever been anywhere where everywhere you turn every corner is just spectacular oh my gosh right let's head back to breakfast and <laughs> i took myself away to start the vlog because it's very peaceful in the veranda restaurant and everyone would have been listening i mean look at this what a view Oh guys, wait until you see the pool as well. Oh my goodness. Hello again, my darlings. Well, it would appear that my vlogging skills are on holiday mode as well because an entire day has gone by and I have not picked up the camera. Today is actually Charlie's birthday and it was a tad overcast this morning. So we decided to go into Ibiza Old Town and let's just say the heavens 
opened we had a massive storm we were shielding ourselves from the rain in the walls of the castle of Ibiza old town playing the heads up game and I just never once thought to get my camera out so if you'd like to see what fun we had I think Lydia was vlogging it so you'll see it over on her video but it is now the evening we have got dinner at the orange tree restaurant here at our hotel and um, I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit of the evening which is this little duo two-piece which is from Reese I believe actually it's in the sale at the moment so I will leave it linked down below and this is our fabulous room so we have a four poster bed um, they don't really have like room categories here it's more just like room names and we are staying in a room called Romero we are normal paying hotel guests just as an FYI it's not a press not a press trip or anything and uh, yes we've got this lovely gorgeous four poster bed a little balcony out there I'd have loved to have shown you before we unpacked but it took me a day or so to get my vlogging mojo um coffee machine and fridge and then our bathroom is through these absolutely beautiful doors here this fabulous bathtub my bikini hanging up there all of my products how gorgeous are these doors though, so beautiful. And then what's also incredible is our little terrace. So this is our private little area. Because it was so stormy, there's quite a lot of like leafage here, but I'll show you this area again in the morning when it's nice and bright. We've got a little pool, we've got our own little sun lounger, and that's a mirror on the wall. It's just such a beautiful area. We actually have a lemon tree that overhangs our area as well, and one fell off today, so I think I'll have that with a my glass of water in the morning and that's an ashtray by the way not a toilet roll <laughs> so we are dining in the orange tree restaurant tonight which is so beautiful look at this well, i showed you earlier in the daytime and let me introduce you to our company oh my God. fellow floof hair gal over here oh my fellow, gosh fellow da daxon squad members fellow sausage dog squad and alistair with charles <laughs> over there oh my goodness Hugo from Love Island. Is there a Ooh. Hugo in Love Island? Yeah, and it's the typical he scenario Fox? where he he's yeah, Fox? and he's the single one. Oh my one. gosh! I think Sam Thompson actually called his character Hugo when he was taking him out to Love Island. Did no, Hugo's been in from the start. No, but when Sam, oh, anyway, Sam Thompson did that that video that was hilarious pre Love Island. It was all the different characters. Oh, pre. Oh. Yeah, it was amazing. And how's your beverageini? It's lovely. What and have you got? Oh, this is the Hugo, and it's oh yeah, right. I understand now. Okay. Yeah, it's the elderflower liqueur and carver. Gorgeous, um, and it's actually very, very nice. wonderful. I have gone for a basil smash. And it's get you smashed. Oh, probably. It smells good. Yeah. It does. It's not the really drink good. that when they crushed it up the other day, it yeah. smelled amazing. Oh, maybe. It smells like pesto. Yeah. It smells Just like pesto. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of does. Oh, it smells like a, a minty pesto. With a sprink of cheese, James. Cheers. 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 So we have got the most delicious starters that we have eaten. How many times would you say that we've had this exact starter combination, Charlie? Four Charlie? times. Four times? Mm. At least. So how many croquettes have we eaten since arriving in Ibiza 24 hours ago? Three each. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen? Fifteen each, yeah. Yeah. I don't even like mushrooms. <laughs> that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot of birds, <laughs> But they are splendid croquettes. We've got some alioli. The boys have got tartar. No, no, it's pronounced alioli. <laughs> No tabata. No tabata. No tabata. No <laughs> That's our hashtag well. for the trip. This always reminds me of the boys Mr. are snapping Bean. the burrata. Have you ever seen the Mr. Bean sketch with steak tartare when he orders steak tartare? Oh, and he's like, <laughs> and he's hiding it in people's handbags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And of course, it is not an it's evening in like Spain it. without some jamón ibérico. This is how you do it, chaps. and he's coming through. She's starting to do the breaststroke to catch him up, but there's no chance now. It's going to be a gold medal. You've been spending too long in the Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so <laughs> Good morning, darlings. It is day two here in Ibiza. We have just had a gorgeous breakfast and then we are heading down to the pool. We've got one of the beautiful cabanas and it's, um, it's called the long pool. You'll see why it's so beautiful. 
I think the plan today is just chill, sunbathe, have some iced coffees, have some nice lunch, um, and just spend some time at this beautiful hotel. This is the area that the wedding was the other night. Now it's opened up again. We might come and have some sunset cocktails here later on. But now we've just got to choose our cabana. Latte. What have you got, darling? That looks I have a green juice. Rather spectacular. I don't think it's. I don't think it's quite as healthy as it looks. Like, I think it's going to be more apple isn't it? It's actually got a little bit of ginger. Oh, that's beautiful. Ginger. That it's got ginger. It's got cucumber, celery. It's got ginger. Oh, apple, nice. I think. I used to make some like this. have just been for a dip. It is a, no, what do they call it? Freshwater pool. Freshwater pool. So it's, it's a natural, I think it's a natural spring they use for it. Oh yeah, she and said there's a there's natural something spring to do underground. With the salt. They use salt water. It doesn't taste salty, but they use salt water to purify it. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely much more healthy for you. It's much more sustainable, but also it's just a nicer experience. Better for your tan as well. Yeah, but it just feels cleaner, doesn't it? Chlorine mm. always scares me because it is a chemical at the end of the day, yeah. and, they, and we're swimming in it. Um, Very true. But it's just bliss, isn't it? It's such a gorgeous pool. Have a look at this. We've got this little cabana, and then super long pool, great for doing lengths, and then you can rent out these little cabanas. Uh, I think it's 50 euros for the day if you're not a hotel guest, but then you actually get that 50 euros off your food and drink bill, so essentially, and they're free. Yeah. Club <laughs> sandwich. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, you put photos in it. Amo two and three. Muchas gracias. Okay. Yes. Enjoy again. Thank you. Thank you. We are having a luncheon by the pool on our little round bed. Oops. I have got a chicken club sandwich. We are sharing uh, vegetable wraps and Lydia has got a salmon pokey plate. <laughs> Lovely. Bon appétit. What's bon appétit in Spanish? Hello my darlings. I have just awoken from my post-lunch nap. I honestly don't think there's any better feeling than falling asleep in the shade after a delicious lunch on holiday. And I think I'm going to go for a swim now, but I thought I would come and change my swimming costume. I have been wearing this one from Arabella London all morning. I really like the top. It's like this deep green, um, kind of like olivey colour, mermaid style scallop top. And then these high-waisted bottoms are a little bit big on the waist. I think potentially I should have sized down a little bit. But the bikini that I am going to change into... I've actually got three out of four parts of it here. So I saw this um, on an Instagram <laughs> advert. So it's just like this typical kind of tie style top. And then you've got these slightly more cheeky bottoms. Um, I've also got a really stringy pair of bottoms. And then this is actually super flattering. This is a high-waisted bottom. I think I'm going to pop these on because I might pick up a little bit of a tan while I'm in the pool. And I've been wearing high-waisted bottoms all morning. But later on, if we want to take any snaps, then I might change into these because they are just so flattering. The brand is Away That Day, and I must say, this was very expensive for what it is. I mean, it's lovely quality, but I think for all of these pieces, and I do have another bottom, I think I paid around £200, and I mean... Uh, I don't mind spending money on a grey bikini if it looks good, just the one thing that I do not like is being ripped off, and... I can tell that this whole set probably cost about a fiver to make, so <laughs> yeah, but never mind. Can't get bikinis for a fiver, so I'm gonna pop this on and give it a swim. Okay, so we've been another few hours down by the pool and we are just about to head back to the room and 
in a very leisurely way get ready for dinner. I think we're gonna try heading to the Six Senses Hotel, which is I believe around 10, 15 minutes from here and um, just check it out really, just to be nosy. It looks really beautiful on Instagram and I think they've got their own cove and beach. We've not been to a beach yet, so we're gonna head there for some drinks before dinner. For dinner, we're going to Aubergine, which uh, Charlie and I have been to before and it is so lovely. They get a lot of the ingredients from the huerto, which means vegetable garden here. Um, so it's very much field to fork kind of dining. But I thought I would just show you the little courtyard and um, private pool area that we have with our room. So it's like a little maze. There's all these rooms built kind of like an old Spanish Finca farmhouse style and this is us here. We're in room Romero. And if you go through these double doors, this is our lovely little courtyard. I did show you this yesterday but it had been a little bit blusterous. I think that is frangipani, frangipan and obviously some bougainvillea over there and I have a feeling that's a banana leaf and then we've got this lovely little dunking pool and I just love this antique mirror. Just such beautiful details, so lovely. Good evening my darlings, excuse the explosion of our stuff everywhere in the background. It's not that it's particularly messy but there's just stuff everywhere. So tonight I could not be bothered to wash my hair which I kind of regret not doing because I don't know it's just gone a little bit um, yellowy with the sea, not sea, with the pool water and the sun but never mind. I'm detracting from my lack of hair washing with this wonderful dress. You may have caught this one in one of my pre-holiday haul videos. It is from Zimmerman and I just think it's a really gorgeous silhouette. It is perfect for Ibiza and I'm just going to accessorize with my sunglasses. I get a lot of questions on these. I actually got these if you remember I went to Palm Springs with Freddie. We went on a shopping trip and I got this from one of the outlets. So we're going for sunset so we're going for sunset drinks at the six senses so this will be my look for the evening but i think we might take a few snaps around the hotel here first so i'm going to take my lovely little um scalloped hat for some snaps and then i'll just leave it in the car when we get to the restaurant oh and i've got my little uh valentino rock stud raffia shoes and i think i will take my Loewe bag. This was such a great thing to bring with us. We bought my Sonos Rome and it's just such a nice little ambiance addition while we're getting ready. Pink or blue? Oh, I think pink. Blue's quite like sporty, whereas pink is like, I'm going for sunset drinks. Shoes are a bit of a challenge. Wear your little shoes. meals? Well, these got a bit ruined in my wet birthday. I really oh, I don't know. I think they work really well. It's quite like yeah. casual vibes. Yeah, I like them See, a lot. I really like these, and these are handmade in Turkey. Are they? This is a brand called Sava. Um, yeah, he, he's an ex-banker, and he went out to Turkey, but I don't know what it is about them or my feet. Oh, nice. I think they make my little feet look weird, though. No, they don't, but I do prefer the mules in that outfit. <laughs> at the six senses gosh this is one heck of a building look at this there's tomatoes there's decorations on the tables that view I think we're heading out here wow
Six Senses Hotel. I think it opened in June, so not that long ago. Um, really just to be a bit nosy and see how lovely it was and um, have a look around. It's a beautiful location. They have got the most spectacular kind of plot here. As you can see, it is a real sunset kind of place. Oh my gosh. But where they've only been open for about a month, the services uh, need a little more practice, let's say. We had a nice glass of wine overlooking the views and now we're heading to aubergine for dinner we found their vegetable garden they've got teepees but nothing growing up them We have arrived at tonight's dinner location, which is Aubergine. It is very busy. This is actually owned by the Ansaro group. Should be rather lovely. Starters have arrived at Aubergine and we have got, as usual, a sharing platter. This is called the Mediterranean Delight. We've got some crudités, some hummuses. We have just smashed the alioli. Ooh. Ooh, look at these. They look like chips, yum. I think this is the Aubergine Carpaccio and a baked camembert. morning my darlings it is day three in Ibiza and we have come to San Juan this morning we've come to a place that Charlie and I have been to a couple of times before and it is the Giri Cafe so San Juan is a really lovely town um, and on Sundays they do a I think it's called a hippie market here where they take over the whole town with stalls there's a band people are dancing and singing in the street um, it's not Sunday today so sadly we're not going to experience that but we remember that this place does an amazing brunch very healthy but we remember that this place does an amazing brunch very healthy so we have come here to start the day and then we're going to um, find some nice beaches and just do a little bit of exploring Alistair is very kindly giving Charles some photography oh, wow. lessons oh wow <laughs> oh wow <laughs> do you know what I think Ali and I need to launch a water brand right because that, that... what would you call it <laughs> Cogs are turning, but they're not they're not fully functioning yet. Oh, well, that's a really catchy pun name. <laughs> yeah, the cogs, cogs are turning. turning. <laughs> Do you know what? I think there's I think Why would you and Ali launch a water brand? Because we're just good at taking pictures of water. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I do actually think to be fair, tap I know on, tap on. I do Tap on! That'd be the name. Tap no, wait, what was the just water. Tap that's already a bloody name, isn't it? Yeah. Just water. What was the tap thing last night that you said about No, doing... tap ass. Yeah, tap ass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? We should launch a tapas restaurant called Tap As. Yeah. yeah but we were actually talking about having some like more authentic Spanish experiences. So I said, well, why don't me and Charlie drop the girls off, head down to the beach, and start tapping us? <laughs> we're gonna get some hate for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be in trouble for that. No, obviously, obviously they're yeah. talking about Patatas Bravas. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not anything else. In, this is volcanic water, but this is the rise of premium water, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because actually, the water. water. The water connoisseur, what, what was he called? Smellier. Smellier. Water sommelier that lived in Chiswick with us, in the gatehouse, um, I shouldn't say that. Um, he said that one of the Spanish brands was the best water, didn't he? Well, it's he? to do with like the levels of vitamins in this, like potassium, minerals, tea, mineral, minerals, sorry. minerals in the water. Um, so is this bottled in Ibiza? It says it's, it doesn't say, it just says it's volcanic what? origin. Yeah, that's the clever Lanzarote that, maybe? That's the clever bit. Yeah. Volcanic it came, it came from the tap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tap's brand name is Volcanic. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's the clever bit. That's where they get you. Oh anyway, gosh. the bottle's lovely. It's lovely. Solo un rayo del sol Cambia el tiempo en el reloj Hoy me oh, Ali's got a salmon brioche with um, lots of colourful things on top. Lydia's got a pistachio chia, chia pudding. Chia, yeah, chia pudding. Delicious. And Charlie yeah. and I have got avo toast. Yes. I'm going to give him my poached egg. Yeah, I'm going to get a little picture of your avo toast again because you're 
that's what we've just been admiring the garden here as well they've got some sunflowers which actually look a little bit unhappy but this is a giant cosmo cosmos plant i don't think i've ever seen one get this tall before and then that over there is some vine tomatoes looks rather lovely some rather spectacular sunflowers up here oh and a limon so our next stop after brunch is Cala Dentera. We have parked up on the hillside and we are making the treacherous journey down the hillside to get to the beach, but the best beaches are always a little bit harder to get to. Hopefully, I was going to say it'll be a bit quieter, but I think that all the Spanish locals know about this one. for this afternoon seeing as none of us have got any phone signal to check this our like emails is uh building stone towers how are we getting on boys well at the minute no oh. <laughs> right <laughs> darling stand up and do it. right and so, so base the ace remove three aces yeah yeah how do we play so we'll keep that ace because that's my winning you don't know ace. how we play i'll tell you a story oh you do know how we play we once that's played this game as a family and my brother took out all the aces by accident <laughs> <laughs> It, and then we all won, and we we're like, how's that happen? Realise it, flipping all the aces around. <laughs> <laughs> A veces yo soy yo, yo voy a ser otro yo. A veces yo soy yo, yo voy a ser otro yo. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. So it is beach day today. We have been down at the beach for about five hours now. It is pretty toasty, so I'm just having a little bit of time under the umbrella. I think we're gonna go up to, there's like a little very rustic, very authentic beach shack up there where everyone else has just gone to check out the menu. And I think we're gonna have some little snacks for a late afternoon lunch, but we have been dipping in the sea. We have been playing card games. The boys have been playing bat and ball. It's been a really lovely, very chill day. Absolutely no phone signal, so we've all totally switched off, which has been really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to having a little bit of food. And then an afternoon nap because tonight could potentially be a bit of a wild one. We're going to Leo's, which is going to be great fun. Um, but yeah, I think an afternoon nap will be a good idea for tonight. Para mí, los nachos con queso y... Jason, who's the these? Well, it's nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hours now since we were at the beach we've had a lovely pampering shower we were very dry very dry and salty from a day in the sun but tonight is the night we are coming to Leo's last time I came to Leo was actually on a press trip about six years ago it was great fun but I think this area has had quite a lot 
of regeneration since I last came. There's actually a few little designer stores around here. Behind me is Lueve. But I think they're quite strict on what time, but I think they're quite strict on what time you actually go in. So we're gonna head in, grab our table, and maybe do a little bit of shopping later. Taking our daily commute to breakfast. It is a rather lovely commute indeed. Not feeling too bad this morning <laughs> considering how much rose was consumed last night. It was very fun indeed. We we learnt the flash mob, pretty good at it by the end. How did you find your first Leo experience, darling? It was epic. It was epic. Very impressed. Good. Do you know what? I think the thing that impressed me the most, I knew the dancing would be amazing. Yeah. But it was the quality of the food. I mean, yeah. caveat that, it's an extremely expensive, but you are paying for the, um, I've got a croaky voice. Yeah, we I'm not even had any alcohol, lot. let's be clear. Um, I do feel a bit groggy today, a bit tired, but we're on holiday, so why not? Mm -hmm. So this morning we are just heading to breakfast, the desayuna. 
And then we've got to go for our PCR test. Sadly, COVID still exists here in Ibiza and we have to get our PCR in order to fly home. Um, <clears throat> I might sit down and explain all the logistics of how COVID has affected the holiday a little bit later. But first, I need my morning oat milk cappuccino. our PCR test which was in um, the town Santa Eulalia not far from here now we have it's very easy just a swab up the schnoz and we'll get the results in 24 to 36 hours that's all we've had to do while we've been here I think we've got to fill out a form or something but that's easy and we have just arrived at our favorite beach club the Azzaro beach club we've got a couple of beds here um, just overlooking the beach I think it's Escana I think that's the beach. Very good for dunking. There's some rocks for jumping, and yeah, we're gonna order some smoothies, pop a little bit more sun cream on, and relax. So I actually just explained this on my stories, but I'll explain it again. Basically, the amazing thing about the Atsaro Beach Club, we're actually sat in an area over there, um, but they've also got a couple of beach beds down here, which is where we sat last year. For a beach bed, it's 50 euros um, per person, which is very typical for Ibiza, but the great thing about here is that you actually get that cost off your food and your drink. Um, so essentially it's like a, I don't know, like a, a coupon towards your food and drink, like when you sometimes go to a Sainsbury's car park. Oh gosh, it's so lovely. Um, so yeah, essentially it's free, which is absolutely amazing. And you're on the most beautiful, beautiful beach. There's a hotel up there, rocks that are great for jumping off and then just such a beautiful beach here, but then you've got your own private little area. Okay, so after, oh, hair and lipstick, after a couple of hours lounging in the sun, I didn't actually do any sunbathing, I did a little Q and A on my Instagram story, so I was just answering lots of questions. I just said to Lydia, it's quite surprising how many people really don't think of Ibiza as a non-cubby place. Whereas there is such a, another side to this island, we're not going near any of the clubs this time. Very much enjoyed it when I was 18, but not so much our vibe now. Um, so yeah, it's been a very chilled morning, and now we're going to have a luncheon. Unfortunately, there are no croquettes left, but they were ham and prawns, so I don't think I'd have had any of those anyway. But on the plus side, we have got patatas bravas on the menu. What else do we have? Mediterranean delights. Quite fishy actually, marinated chicken brochettes. Mm. The thing that they just do so well here is come on and pan con alioli. So I'm definitely going to order a shload of that. Just going in for a second. Ooh. <laughs> Josie's like going in for her third, she really wants a Tajane. <laughs> She's like, if I keep on sipping it, then maybe the Tajane will come out. La comida está aquí. Oh, it does look like Tashne. No, it's yeah. Si, por favor, gracias. Wow. Hungry man about town, straight on the job. We have got, I think these are the chicken things that they char. Oh, it looks heavenly. Oh, mucho de jamón. Pan con tomate, patatas bravas. Although that's not patatas bravas, that's potato know, wedges. But it is lovely wedges. It does look good. And then something from the ocean for the others to enjoy. Main events are paella. We have got a mixed paella. Oh, this looks good. It's the mixed one. The mixed yeah.
Okay, my darlings, it is now a few hours later, and as you may be able to guess, we are ready for dinner. Royal wee, Charlie has gone to do a few snaps with Ali. Tonight, I have got on my lovely Zimmerman dress. This is probably four or five years old, but it's such a great holiday dress. I absolutely love it. I bring it with me on most holidays. And when I was filming my Zimmerman collection video recently, I was just like, yes, and that's definitely coming with me to Ibiza. It's got the most amazing kind of age angel wing sleeves. It's actually a little play suit. I keep saying a dress, but it's a play suit. There is stuff just littered everywhere because I have been rushing a little bit this evening. Didn't have time to add any curls to my hair, but I did use the barrel attachment on the Dyson Airwrap, so we've still got a little bit of volume. And my lip combination this evening, I've, uh, it's not going to focus, is it? It's the shade Fascinator. And then I've got a plumping lip gloss. Oh dear, this is not going very well. <laughs> there we go. Plumping lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury on over the top. I think I'm going to pop these in my Prada bag and we are ready to go. I'll forever think of Porty when I look at these shoes. Little Porty. Little Porty. It does look nicer here when it's in the morning. Right, three, two, one, smile. So it's safe to say we're not holding back tonight. Charlie has got a list of what we're going to be ordering on his phone. And we are delighted to discover that they actually do Mirabeau cocktails here. So we've got something wonderful here made with the dry rosé gin from Mirabeau. And then I think we've got a bottle on the way. The theme of this evening is Mirabeau. Cheers, darling. Bougainvillea hay fever. <laughs> Good morning my darlings. It is now Friday morning, another morning where I expected to wake up feeling a little bit delicate given how much rosé was consumed last night but maybe it's the warm evenings, maybe it's maybe it's Mirabeau or maybe it's the fact that we ate a lot of food last night but I feel fine. A little bit tired but that is not a problem because I am going to schnoozle by the poozle later on today. I was the only one that had breakfast today because Charlie and Ali have done a workout. I'm not sure if Lydia has arisen just yet but I'm gonna go down to the cabana now. I just had avocado and rye toast and I feel so bloated I don't know what it is but I'm glad I wore a stretchy swimsuit this morning but yeah last night was so much fun. Bambuda has always been one of my favourite places to go for food here in Ibiza. I would say it's a little bit, um, well you can get like crispy ducks and pancake, you can get sushi, you can get like chicken satay, lots of really good fish dishes and I couldn't believe that they had Mirabeau as well. So we had Mirabeau gin cocktails, the bar manager created like a strawberry and a strawberry and rose cocktail I think it was which was delicious and then we had a bottle of Mirabeau classic and then we had a magnum of Mirabeau pure which I think 
hands down has got to be my favorite the pure it's the lightest it goes down it works with everything every course that we had last night it was so perfect with so i definitely recommend getting a magnum of pure if you go to bambada but yeah it was a fantastic evening we had such a good time and now we are back at the hotel for a pool day so i popped on my lovely little larabesh swimsuit which i got from farfetch i think my farfetch discount code is still live if it is i'll leave everything down below but i just can't stop staring at the background in these video clips at the hotel honestly everywhere every corner of this hotel is just so photogenic it's just absolutely beautiful i just asked charlie to get a quick snap for me here he's gone to shower and then he's gonna meet me down by the pool afternoon and actually today was the day that we were meant to be leaving but as you can see very much still in situ we have decided to stay a little, a little bit longer we have become at one with the island its magnetic force is in full swing and we actually started just joking about it at lunchtime today just like oh it was so funny if we just didn't go home and sit and then we were like it was so funny and then long story short we just ended up changing our flights so we sadly couldn't get any more time here at Adzaro because it's such a wonderful place that it's booked up I think she said until the end of the season um, but we've booked somewhere that I have stayed at before which is lovely not quite as lovely as here but I'm sure it will be wonderful so we're staying for a few more days there's so many things that we haven't done yet that we really wanted to do like Esvedra, um, Ibiza Old Town because obviously it's pouring with rain the day that we tried to do that and I think we are even gonna go down to San Antonio and experience the club scene obviously not the club scene we're gonna go and watch the sunset um, quite intrigued to see what Where it's gonna be I like down see? there you literally wanted to do the, the main strip she was like please can we go, I to can go we on tutus <laughs> I genuinely did that when I was 18 I made my own neon tutus in fact if I can find a picture I'm gonna pop it on the screen here I used to buy neon netting and like sew it around a waistband and make my own neon <laughs> tutus. Does, why does that not surprise me though? I know. Made your own neon tutu. I love it. I was I a proper little it. club raver. Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh. So we're probably going to go there tonight actually if we um, get cracking. The boys are mid editing. We really need to leave actually. Check into our new hotel. Um, but I've just imported all the footage from this vlog and we're currently standing at two hours worth of footage. So I feel like this is quite a nice like natural break in the vacation so i think what i'm going to do is end this vlog here and then darlings if you want to see ibiza part two which is probably going to be very different vibe it's going to be very off the cuff you know just going with the flow being ibiza free spirits in a different hotel then um i will probably share that vlog on tuesday or maybe thursday not too sure on my timing so yet yeah, depends on ibiza wi-fi but if this vlog has gone up on sunday then hopefully part two will come up on Tuesday. Who knows? But darlings, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, please leave um, the word hat in your comment. And thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.